بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay probably in the previous uh, topic we have seen the portions as i said in order to be in the same network in the a class b class c class one portion has to be same in the b class two network portions has to be same and in the c class three network portions has to be same so based on this, if I try to write the range, let's take an example here. Let's say you are working for a company or maybe you are designing a network or maybe the network is already designed. Now you want to figure out how the IP addressing is given. So let's say there are around 200 devices in your network and you want to connect these 200 devices uh, in the network and we did the connectivity. Connectivity part, let's say, is all done. So we got all these devices connecting through a switch, some wiring, done so they all are physically connected so that is not enough so simply connecting the devices physically that is not enough because in order to communicate you also need to assign the ip address so the first thing physical connectivity let's assume we did that now the next thing is we also need to assign the ip address because without ip address the network is not going to work so it's an uh, ip address identify the specific device in the network so every device like a router, uh, switches, computers, you need to assign the IP address. So it's not like that you give whatever the IP you want. It's not like that. You have to specifically follow the rules. Now the rule is they are physically connected and they are in the physical in the same LAN, same network. And also we want logically should be in the same network as well. So logically they should be in the same network, which means the network portion has to be same, right? If I'm using C class, then what I should consider? I should consider that the first three portions should be same. If I change this, then that will become different network, right? So if I go and assign the IP 192.168.10.1, 192.168.10.2, and for the third device, I'll say 192.168.15.1, this is not correct because this will become different network from these two. The network portion is different. So logically, they become different network. They will not talk to each other. The communication will not happen. So if you want, all the devices should be in the same network physically as well as logically. We must assign the address with the same network portion. Like in this case, uh, if I'm using, let's say if I'm using C class, so we have to decide any one address. Let's say I decided to go with 192.168.1. network. So which means the first three portions should be same compulsory. So I can go and assign the IP address starting from 192.168.1.0. So I should not change the first three portions. Always remember the first three portions should be same because the network portion, I should not change this because if I change that, that will become different network. And for each and every device, I can start with zero and one, two, of course, zero is network ID. We'll talk about that later. So the first address which you can start with is 0, uh, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, like that you, you just go on up to 252, 253, 254, 255. Because as per the IP address, the first number I can start with 0 and the last number I can go up to 255. And as per the C class, if I use any C class address, any C class, I'm not specific to this address, it can be any C class, so any C class address, if I'm using, we need to ensure that the first three portions should not change. So the first three portions should be same. And the last portion, which is the host portion, host portion should not be same. Like every, every host should be different, different, net, different IP, means different address. So host portion should be different and the network portion should be same. So if I go and write in one network, so basically in this, if I take any one network in C class, how many addresses I'll, I'll be getting? Total 256 addresses. So you'll be getting total addresses, how many? 256. You can simply count based on this way, how many host bits we have, eight, two to the power of eight, 256 addresses, starting from 192.168.1.0 to 192.168.1.255. So if you count total 256 addresses, you get in one C class, so in one C class, you get 256 addresses. Of course, two I cannot use for network ID, broadcast ID. So you have to subtract minus two. So that part I'll be discussing later on in the next topic. 
because I don't want to mix up the things here right now. So we generally say I'll say 256, including network ID and broadcast ID. So these many addresses in one network. And like that, you get how many networks? 2097152. These many networks we get in one in any C class. It's a complete C class. If you write starting from 192.0.0 network, 192.0.1 network, 182.0.2, like that, each and every network, like that, you get to this number, these many networks, and each network we get 256 addresses. Okay, so the main part we need to understand here is we don't need to worry about how many networks we get generally. But the main part is you need to understand that the IP, the network portion has to be same in order to be on the same network. So ensure that your network part is same when you are assigning the IP, especially when you decided to make them all in the same network. Now, similar way, let's let's go ahead and verify the same with the B class. So let's say uh, the same scenario here, where we got 200 or maybe 2000 devices or more than that. Or maybe my company wants to go with 500 devices uh, in a network, maybe in the future consideration. Now, if I use any C class address, C class only supports 256 addresses like we have seen in one, one network. So we decided to go with any B class. So this time I decided to go with B class. So whenever you, you decide to go with a B class, again, the same rule applies. So physically they're in the same network. We also need to assign the IP and logically it should be on the same network means they must have the same network portions, which means in B class, there are two network portions and these two network portions should be on, should be on the same, should be same. So that should not change. So let's say I decided to go with this address, any, any address you can use. Uh, B class, you can use 128.1 also, any address. So let's say I'm using 172.16. So we need to ensure that this 172.16 should not change the first two portions because the first two portions are network. So I can change these two portions because they are host. So we go from 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, like that I go up to 0 0.255. So I cannot write 0 0.256 because 0.256 is not there in IP address. So the last number is 255. So the continuation for this is 1.x. So basically we write 0.x, x means from 0 to 255. And once we are finished, we write 1.x because these two portions we can change, right? Now these two are host portions. So similar way we write 2.x, 3.x, like that we go up to up to 255.x. So like that we go up to 255.x. So which means we can write as many as 65,536 addresses in one network. So how I'm calculating again the same thing. If you have two host bits, uh, 8, 8, 16 to the power of 16 is 16, uh, 65,536. So, so in one B class network, if you take this example, in one B class network, we get uh, approximately in one network, we get 65,536. Again, including network ID and broadcast ID. So here it is excluding here. So, and like that, we get how many networks? 16,384 networks. So it's a big network, big range again. So we don't need that many networks. We'll be using any one network in our, in our scenario. So which means basically if your requirement is, uh, the requirement is, let's say uh, 500 hosts, so if your requirement is anything less than equal to 200, then we can go with C class. C class supports 256 addresses in one network. So less than or equal to 250, something around that. But if your requirement is above 250, then basically you go with either B class or A class. Of course, A class have a bigger range. So we go with a B class or A class because in B class, you can get up to 65,536 devices. In if I subtract two addresses, then it will be 65,534 in one network. So likewise, if you take the same example with A class, in A class, we need to keep in mind the first portion should be same. Remaining you can change, right? So which means we go with uh, 10. 10 should be same, common. Like if I'm using 10 as my A class network, so I can go and write like this, same like B class, 0 
so I can start with 10.0.0.x and then I'll write 10.0.1.x and 10.0.2.x like that I go up to 10.0.255.x so x means again we are writing let's say the numbers from 0 to 55 and once we are finished it's not yet done then once we are done with this then we write 10.1 and then we write 10.2s like that we go up to 10.255 last because three portions we can change right so if you go on write it's a big range so we don't need to write we just need to understand the range so we write with 10.1s and then 10.2s 10.3s like that i go up to 10.255 so the last number until you get 10.255255255 so which means uh, in one a class network if i take one a class network I get roughly around 16777216, the total addresses, including network ID and broadcast ID. Okay, and like that, I get two, two, uh, 126 networks. So, means total addresses will be 126 into, into multiply this total addresses. So, I get 126 networks, and each network will be having uh, 16, you know, 16 million. So, 16777216 or 214 addresses, host addresses in one single network.